One of Mixbuzz TV's most popular videos, Loudness is Not in Mastering, talks about the importance of having a good crest factor at the end of your mix. Tigler Audio Magnetismus 2. We can call that the crest factor machine. Let me show you what this thing can do. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbuzz TV. David here, I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm showing you my last acquisition, Tigler Audio Magnetismus 2. This is a very deep, very unique sounding machine. I called it the Crest Factor machine. I wasn't joking, there's a lot more it can do than what you would tell just by looking at the front panel. This is basically a high quality VCA compressor followed by a very unique streamlined transient shaper and saturation section. And the range of adjustment and different gain staging you can play with with these three different kinds of saturation is what makes this unit so useful and so unique. Magnetismus is the right name. What it does is very similar to what tape does to transient and audio material. It adds warmth and you will hear that, it's not just words. But let's take a look at the front panel. So we have in and bypass of course, we have a threshold which is dented, timing, this is our attack and release. So we have 11 presets and it goes from fast to slow. So it's very easy and intuitive to find an attack and release combination that works for a given track. That's not much fussing around. Then we have a ratio that goes from off, so we can bypass the VCA compressor section, to limit. This one is dented too. Then we have our lead metering that shows the gain reduction. And then the really interesting part. This flux mode is our transient shaper and we have, you can see, three settings. Azel, Cobalt and Nickel. These are basically three types of saturation, three different tones of harmonic distortion and they are also different in a way they shape the transient. And then we have the makeup gain. With the makeup gain you can drive the signal hotter into the unit just like you do with tape. And in use you will see you want to have your hands on the output knob because the makeup gain will raise the level, will drive the signal hotter, will increase the saturation and the harmonic distortion and the volume, so you want to compensate. But if you take a look at the meter on Pro Tools when using this, you will see the level is going to be the same or lower, but the material will appear louder. This is what this unit does. And once you're set with your makeup gain and output, how hot you can drive the signal, you have the intensity knob. This, regardless of how hot the signal is going into the machine, can add additional saturation and it can go from subtle to complete distortion for sound designing. We will hear that. So at first glance a very simple unit where it's simple to use but it has so many different sounds, so many kinds of saturation and harmonic distortion and the way it reacts to the material. The way the material comes out from this machine is very much like what you would see if you run it through tape. And this combination of a VCA compressor before that stage of saturation and harmonic distortion and transient shaping is not by case. If you see what I do and like me, many other mix engineer, on transient material a very common chain is to compress with a slow-ish attack to add punch to a snare, to a kick, to a loop and then saturate a little bit to tame that nominal level of the transient and augment the perception of it. You have that chain in one unit and in hardware version. So I think it's time to hear this thing in action and I'll see you at the end for some final thoughts.
so this was the Magnetismus 2 from Tigler Audio VCA compressor with a transient shaper, a saturator, a clipper if you want. A machine that can really help you achieve, yeah, I'll say it, louder masters, but also great sounding mixes. A unit that can go from subtle to complete distortion and uh, it can be used in parallel. This is actually one way I love to use it or in insert. It really has a wide range of different sounds. The VCA compressor alone sounds great. You can run it as a distortion unit to completely bypass in the VCA. As we heard on that guitar, it can turn a clean guitar into an overdriven guitar. You know, you don't need to use compression if you don't want, and you don't need to use the saturation or the transient designer if you just want to use the VCA compressor. A very versatile machine. But one thing for sure, if you want to add density to anything, whether it's a bass, a loop, a vocals, or your mix, this unit can do that. It has a very unique sound. I love Tegeler gear. You know, I have the Cream 2 two bus compressor with the Pultec style EQ. We have a review on that too on the channel. Check it out. The Magnetismus 2 really surprised me. And of course, our friends at Tigler Audio are being amazing as usual. <laughs> and they are offering you a discount, a special discount to Mixbus TV subscribers and to all of you guys watching this. So discount is gonna be in the info box down below and on Tigler's site. So this is it for this video. If you liked it, if this was interesting, please don't forget to leave us a like. If you have any question regarding the Magnetismus 2 or other Tigler gear that I have or any other question really, leave it in the comment down below. Please follow Mixbus TV and Tigler Audio on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We are very active in there. We have some exclusive content and pictures. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.